I think the future lies with people who can breed fishes and make them available through the hobby rather than over collection in the wild. I'm not particularly concerned about over collection for the aquarium trade, but I am concerned in that a lot of the environments where the fish are collected are becoming endangered and maybe the fish trade adds to the pressure on that ecosystem. The lifespan of killifish is only a few months. They have evolved to live in seasonal pools in the tropics and die when the pool dries up. But their eggs are left behind to hatch when the rains return. One of the th well, this is one of the places that I used to come to just for peace and quiet get away from it after a hard day at the office. It's quite nice to come here, just look at the river. Well, I used to think that maybe I was in a tropical country in South America and that the, the river, it's not dissimilar, it's only the temperature that's different. And I used to plan or think about catching the fish in it. If, they, if it had been a tropical stream, uh, how I would go about catching the fishes in it. All the books that I had showed pictures of small offshoot creeks in South America and they looked very much like an English creek. So I could, with a bit of imagination, make this place into a creek in South America. My interest in catfishes grew to perhaps as far as it could possibly grow. I gave up my job in the city. At one stage, I, I had a lot of aquariums, and it became all-consuming. I probably spent more time with my fish than I did with my family. Over the last 10 years, I've had many letters from people uh, asking questions about catfishes. In fact, I'm probably the agony ante of uh, catfishes. Uh, every month in magazines I make replies uh, to some of the special letters that I receive. In fact, uh, John and Sue Holmes uh, wrote me several letters about the red-tailed catfish, including one where the catfish had swallowed a piece of equipment in the aquarium and uh, their local veterinary surgeon had suggested uh, an operation uh, and I predicted to them that in fact the catfish would regurgitate uh, the object and uh, sure enough it did. Without any formal biological training, David Sands has written many expert books on his big catfish. I often get to know some of the larger catfishes by getting hold of them. Um, it's something I used to do a lot once, I don't do as much now. But uh, I have a young uh, sailfin uh, catfish known as Pterygoblichthys gibbiceps. We call it Pterygib for short. And uh, my party piece is basically to uh, show people that it can breathe out of water. So if I can catch him, will I do it? So I've done this with specimens that are almost two feet uh, large. So as you can imagine, this is just a, a juvenile. But nonetheless, he could happily stay out of water for a good hour or so with no it problems at all. me up at two o'clock in the night, getting me out of bed uh, to say the fish is hovering on the surface of the water gasping. And I give them answers and I try and help them save that fish. But if the fish weren't imported and made available in the first place, maybe that kind of thing wouldn't happen. <laughs> 